most people of the internet, um, I am very scared because I'm not sure if this is the part, but we're gonna try. <sighs> okay, thank god. <clears throat> um, uh, crap, 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 crap. I wanted to try and fix it already. Um, don't have any saves. Oh. Alright, the headphones are going back on. I thought it was, uh... <clears throat> I thought it was the part. Ah, the part, uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, not a very nice part. Uh, uh, oh wait, yeah, um, I'm gonna upload my video. I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, 
Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. Oh my god. I, ju I just put a band-aid on the scratch that my jerk cat gave me. And it's already falling off. That's awesome. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not really good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Atsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far, far out of her own comfort zone. Just fixing my mouse pad. I'm doing everything to stall for time because I'm scared. Eh, but I begin to understand. <coughs> Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say in a time like this. Because Sayori always helps out always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm gonna say this! You better- you better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of the whole event. I believe you. Yeah! Freaking headphones! Freaking I hope to see everyone do their best, but with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and that's okay at the door as they check to each other. Uh um. Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be shopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? My, my house? Is that a problem? No, not, no, not at all. I, I, just thought, I, I just thought that I would be the one going to your house on Sunday. I suppose that makes sense. If you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. Alright. <coughs> In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press your for no reason. It's not like it should matter that much either way, so I just need to make sure my mind's right. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Killian. I think that will make a fairly productive team. Even if you only cho cho chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? <sighs> I don't know. It's difficult to come up for, with any other, other reason you chose me. <coughs> You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. <coughs> I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Now shut your little face. Let's go home. Do you believe me? Hi. Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. Okay, thank God it's not that part yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that, after that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be, be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten plenty of use to handle it at this point, there's no telling what what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. <coughs> it's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. 
Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an, an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Yeah, I think I picked the wrong option back at the at the who I should go with. I definitely clicked the wrong one. <coughs> There's no doubt that she'll open up just a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she's left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put, for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No. Stupid. <clears throat> I decided to Oh, here we go. I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over uh, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've had some habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Oh no. Oh no, here's the bad part. Father, this is why. <clears throat> this is why. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already... Okay, alright, 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 alright. I'm taking off my headphones. Taking off my headphones. Headphones are off. Headphones are off. Oh no, that's not good. I'm gonna save. Yeah. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna quit so that it fixes this. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna get scared. I I hate this part. Oh. Oh. Here we are. That hello people of the internet. My name is Killian and I'm alright, I'm not gonna do that for real. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I'm ready. It's already strange of her to not run down and greet me. I need to get my mom. I really hate this part. This part is a scary. <clears throat> this is just disgusting. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, okay, it's not this. Sorry. Okay, I love you. Alright, whatever. I love you. Hey, you come here. I think I think the next day in this is when it's gonna happen. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't like this. I, I just don't like this part. Switching the audio back to my headphones. Hi, Killian. Squiggly. I sit down in her room. Sorry forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Freaking thing's broken again. Has really changed, has it? Siori's room is as messy as it's always been. 
I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> Squiggly. If you came over more if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How can we suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how'd you know that? Sarah had already left by the time that we decided that Paul has a meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? That that's true. What about you? Aren't you gonna be helping Monica today? <coughs> of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. But so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep, squiggly. There's more silence between us. Sierra stares in a random direction. I'm thinking about her behavior and feeling her characteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something was wrong, you, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Killian. Eh. Why can't it just be like it? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you weren't worried about me at all. I wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. This is j this just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Squiggly. Sayori! Yeah, Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. <clears throat> you really put me in a trap, Killian. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. I'm just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> Squiggly. You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Killian? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school to every- Why do you think I'm late to school every day? It's because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having to spend- By having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make everyone, everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. <laughs> I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Se Sayori has kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? <clears throat> Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand it all, Killian. 